what is up you guys i just got back from the bins i spent pretty much the whole day there sourcing i did go to a couple other thrift stores but majority of where i went was the bins and so i just got back i'm a little exhausted but i had to stop at the office before i went home to sort through some of these items because some of them need some stain treating and because i had to go through them and process them anyways i thought why don't i just go ahead and show you what i got there is a whole Hulkin bag full of stuff here. I mean, it's a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna go run through this pretty quickly. If I can remember the comps, I will say them as I go. Because there's so much stuff, I don't want to take the time to pop stuff up on the screen. Hopefully you guys understand, but feel free to do these comps for yourself. I pay $1.89 per pound for clothing, so almost everything I get ends up being $2 or less. All right, so the first one is a brand I've never heard of before. It is called Marshall Artist, and this is a men's size large. It is a men's wool shacket, snap buttons. The tag really screamed high quality to me. Again, I've never heard of it before, but I did do some comps and it seemed to be doing pretty well. It also had some branding down below, which is another reason I thought that it might be uh, worth something. I kind of had to make up a price on this one because the ones that I saw that were selling uh, were going to different countries. So, so the prices were a little skewed, but I think I'm gonna list this for between $30 and $35. I'm finding myself uh, while I'm at the bins and just in general trying to be like more style based. I still want a high sell through rate obviously, but the times that I've trusted my gut and just got something because it had really, really good trending factors stacked on top of each other, it's always sold quickly. So I'm trying to trust, trust my gut a little bit more and I don't know if you guys watch McThriftsy, but she does a lot of uh, outlet hauls and she really focuses on style. And again, that factor stacking, her and I have that in common. And I really enjoy watching her thrift hauls to see what she picks up. And so that was kind of my mentality when I was at the bins, trying to take some chances on some things that I don't normally get. This is a Men's Banana Republic jacket, size large. This one does need wash. This is a military style jacket. I love selling men's military style jackets and men's banana republic stuff does surprisingly well for me. I'm probably gonna list this for $40. I spent like $60 at the bins and I expect everything to go for like a grand total of no less than 800. So that was pretty good. This is a good plus size piece. I pick up a lot of plus sizes at the bins. This is Crofton Barrow Women's 3X. Probably only sell this between 15 and 20, but this stuff does have a following in the larger sizes. This is a Chico's size four. Can't remember what that translates to, but it is a larger plus size. This is a gold metallic -y top. I'll probably list this for 25. This is just Charter Club. This is a men's cashmere sweater. This is called the Estate Cashmere. This is a men's size large. Really nice blue collar, v-neck, super soft, in great condition. Probably list this for about 20. This is a men's North Face, size small, really great condition, zip pullover. Nice blue collar. It's kind of got that like waffly texture to it. This one's in really, really great condition. It's probably only been worn a few times. Um, I would say at least 25 for that, but I'm probably going to do a style lookup on the tag and determine whether or not it is a more desirable style, but I'd say at least 25. This is by Coldwater Creek. This is a women's size 3X. I've been having some really good luck with this brand lately and plus sizes. I'm probably actually going to list this for between 30 and 35. It is a knit sweater hoodie. It's got like that dolman sleeve and it's this really pretty blue. I found a lot of this blue. It's kind of not coming across well on camera, but it's like that coastal blue, the one that's really popular of blue stuff. Speaking of coastal blue, I got this. I got this because I thought it was very coastal grandma. It is a really pretty open knit like 
crochet like dolman sleeve sweater. It is by the brand Modern Soul. Now, this has a little bit of discoloration along the neckline, which is why I need to wash it, but I thought that this was super like coastal grandma exactly on trend with that. So I'm gonna use those keywords in my listing. And I think I'm gonna list this for between 30 and 35, if I can get that stain out. The whole point of this was to make a separate bin for washing them. And I totally forgot to do that. I've just been throwing it in the same bin. Two of these exact same shirts, just different colors. I'll just show you one of them. This is rule number 925. This is a great brand to pick up. Um, this is a women's top. Women's does less well than the men's, um, but I found that the button-up shirts and women's do pretty good. This is a size medium. It has sheer as the style, and it is a very thin snap button-up top. Even though this is a size medium, I would definitely say it fits more like a small. Um, so I'm going to make sure to put that in my listing. I don't know. We might lot these together. Um, if not, I'll probably list them each for $25 and um, is no longer being made. So that's what makes it desirable. Okay. I'm probably going to try this one on myself. This is just H&M. It's a size large. If it does not fit how I want, I will still sell it. Um, this is just a very minimalist midi length maybe maxi link for some people. It's midi length for me. Uh, just very minimalist dress. It is a very nice charcoal gray and it does have a side slit. And this kind of stuff is doing really well for me. And so I decided to take a chance on it even though it was just H&M at the bins. Um, I think I could use the keywords grunge and minimalist on this. I found two of these. These are a pair of men's Under Armour pants. Men's Under Armour pants do surprisingly well for me, especially their golf pants. They have a really good sell through rate. Um, and then obviously larger sizes are going to help. This is a pretty big size, a size 40 by 36. This is like a khaki jogger pant. And I'll probably list each of these for between, hmm, I think like 30 to $35. They're the exact same one, so I'll do a multi-quantity listing. This is Soft Surroundings. I'll pretty much pick anything up in this brand at the bins. This is also a size large, and it's linen, so all of those factors are going to help to sell this. Also a very, like, coastal color. I was having a coastal moment today. I'm probably going to put all of those keywords into these listings with the blue items. Um, I'll probably sell this for between 25 and 30. This is something I, I pretty much pick up almost everything at the bins. This is Talbots. Now I do try to stick to the larger sizes. This is a size extra small, but I decided to get it anyways because the comps I did look good. This exact one I think sold for like $28. I'm not going to list mine for that much because I think it'll sit too long and I want to get it moving. So I'm probably going to list mine for between $20 and $25. It's just a ruched wrap top. Wrap tops always add value, in my opinion. People love wrap tops, and it's got this interesting paisley print. Hey, I mentioned this in the thrift with me video, but this was probably my best find. This is a Lululemon women's sweater. It's got like that high low, nice colors here, very soft. So someone threw this at the end of a bin. It was like thrown as stuff people didn't want, which I always check the ends for because. People throw back some really good stuff. I'm going to guess what happened was someone did not realize that this was Lululemon because the label kind of blends. And so I touched it and I was like, man, I wonder if that's Lululemon. Like I could see where the hang tag was there. It looked like the shape of the Lululemon tags. But I was like looking the sweater over and could not find the logo. And then... Out of the corner of my eye, after I threw it back in the bin, I noticed that um, that little label there, and I was like, oh, it is Lululemon. So I almost did the exact same thing that the other person did. But I picked it up. I am going to list this for probably $40. So keep your eye out for that. If you feel something high quality, there's no label there, 
check the back middle and also the back bottom left for that Lululemon logo. And again, sometimes it's really hard to find. Sometimes it blends in. This is Lulu's. I do like picking up this brand. I try to stick to larger sizes, but at the bins, I'm going to go ahead and get it. This is a pretty, um, I would say festive piece. I feel like somebody would want this for holiday events and people are going back to events now. This is like a cutout three quarter length sleeve red dress. I'll probably list that for 25. This is just a Ralph Lauren women's top boat neck classic. Uh, is that blue? I think it's like a dark blue and white stripe, so very nautical, very classic for Ralph Lauren. Um, I'll probably just list this for between 15 and 20, but it should be a quick flip. Found quite a few G Crew pieces. This one is a size small. This is a linen wool blend sweater. You can't tell because I got it kind of wrinkly, but it's in really great condition. Just a pink three-quarter length sweater. I'll probably list this for 20 to 25. This is a plus size Torrid cardigan, size 2, which is a 2X. It's just a really nice uh, burgundy color. It's got some details in the back. I will probably list this for 20 to 25 as well. This brand surprises me lately. I'm picking up almost everything in this brand. When it's a plus size, it is Land's In. This is a women's size 24W. These are called the No Iron Supima shirts, so they don't wrinkle, which is nice. This is just a floral uh, half button top. And I think I was gonna list this for about 18, but it had a really good sell through rate in this size. I found a Love Your Melon beanie, which I've been looking for a beanie, and this is like in like new condition, so I'm gonna wash this and keep it for myself. I thought about selling it, but sell through rate is not really good on this anymore. Like I remember when this was the brand to get in beanies, so totally go with my outfit today. This is a Lucky Brand top. This is a size large. I also try to stick to the larger sizes in this brand as well. This is like an oatmeal ivory colored uh, long sleeve boho top. I'll probably list that for 20 to 25. This is something I got just for style. I sell a lot of jogger pants. This is the brand Freshman, which I've come across a lot, but I never get. But these are a size extra large. They are a jogger style and they are uh, that like cozy tie-dye knit kind of pant. And I'll probably only list them for 15, but I thought I would give it a try. Again, trying to trust those gut instincts on trending stuff. Speaking of trending stuff, I'm looking for like Western kind of stuff. So ponchos are really in right now. Um, they're doing really well for me. This is New York and Company. This is a size small medium, but to be honest, I definitely think it could fit um, up to a large, extra large. This is like a very equestrian looking. It's got some lace up detail poncho. Green ribbed and it does have the armholes um, halfway through. So that's nice. I think this will do really good with the return of the show Yellowstone coming back. I'll probably list this for um, 25 to 30. This was a good find. I do have to do a little bit of cleaning on this. The lining is going to need a little bit of touch up. I think there's a couple spots, but I'm just going to take a damp washcloth and go to them. Um, barely damp um, because I think it's lined with silk. This is a Pendleton women's 100% wool trench coat. I've been seeing everywhere that trench coats are really in and I couldn't think of a more classic wool trench coat than a Pendleton. This has some really nice plaid color. Um, I don't know what size this is. Looking at it, I would say it's probably somewhere between like a small and a medium. I'm, I'm gonna say medium. Um, but I think this will bring a high amount, so I don't mind doing the research to figure out what size it is and putting some of that stuff in. I don't think that's going to deter a buyer for a piece like this. So I don't know what I'm going to list this for. I need to do some more research, but yeah, I think this is going to do really well. Next is just a Banana Republic top. This is actually a Banana Republic outlet size medium, but like I said, wrap tops do really well. This is that like ballerina style looking wrap top. I've sold quite a few of these. This is a very popular style. So I did a comp on Banana Republic size medium wrap tops. 
great sell-through rate. I'm probably gonna list this for just 20, but it should fly pretty quickly. It's so basic, but I'm trying to learn those things in the mall brands I come across all the time that do sell. This is something that I also am going to wash. This is Zumba. Zumba stuff has a pretty decent following. And this is actually, I think these are men's pants. It says Mr. Right right there. That doesn't mean it's uh, men's. It could just be a style name, but they do look like they are a size medium in men's. So that's what I'm gonna list these for. These have like an ombre tapered jogger look, almost kind of distressed looking which is what drew me to them. Zumba logo on the back. Um, I am probably gonna list this for, let's say like 25 to 30. This is a great style to pick up in this brand, Banana Republic Men's Traveler Jeans, specifically the Travelers to go for like 30 to 35, which is what I'll list these for. Just a pair of very soft, stretchy, comfortable gray jeans. This I looked at for style. This is very like Southwestern Aztec. This is uh, just the brand X-Ray. I don't know much about it, but I got this mainly for style and I'm probably gonna list this for 30 to $35. It does feel very high quality all around Aztec graphic. Okay, this is just the brand Express. Um, I looked up the style. It was the skinny mid-rise and it was actually doing pretty good. A lot of express dress pants uh, have a following on eBay specifically. And these are in pretty good condition. I'm probably just going to listen for like 20 to 25, but I thought they'd be an easy quick flip. All the information's there. Uh, this is another J. Crew piece. This is 100% merino wool, size large. I feel like this is coming off purple, but it's a cobalt blue. I'll probably list this for 25. This is another men's banana republic piece. This is a size large organic cotton men's sweater. Collar black details. I think I saw this exact one go for like 20 or 25 which is why I picked it up. Like I said banana republic men's stuff does well for me and the organic cotton should help to sell it as well. It's like get to actually looking at these items and think, what did I buy? Like, I don't remember this. <laughs> this is Lou and Gray for loft, size medium, dolman sleeve, oversized, like sweater poncho thing. I got it mainly because it was oversized, which is typical of this brand. Very cozy, soft. Some of the Lou and Gray stuff um, does well. I'll probably just list this for 20 to 25. That's mine. Okay, this one definitely needs a wash. It feels, I don't know how to explain it. It feels brand new, except that there's gunk all over it. Like, that's my worst nightmare. <laughs> but this is a men's sweater jacket by L.L. Bean. And like I said, it feels like it's never been worn, and yet there is stuff all over it. So I'm gonna wash it and just see if that stuff comes out. I think it will, um, if that's the case. I will probably list this, I would say it would sell for like 40 and up, but I would definitely have to do a comp on that style number. I find that the bins people pass on a lot of L.L. Bean, but it does phenomenal for me, so I pick up like all of it. This is a surprising find. This is a brand I love picking up in men's, but this is a women's. This is Carbon to Cobalt. It's a women's linen cotton blend sweater. Very high quality feeling. It does have some interesting details and it's like a wide... Um, I wouldn't call it flare, maybe flare, definitely a wide sleeve. Um, I think I'm going to list this one for 30 and the carbon to cobalt women's sweaters when I did a comp seemed to have a good sell through rate as well. So it's just a pair of shoes. These are a pair of women's Crocs. If you guys didn't know Crocs, they clean up really easily. I can just take a disinfectant wipe really quick and these will be brand new. I always do check for the tread. These ones do have good tread. These are a women's size nine. The Crocs women's sandals have a decent sell rate. These are super lightweight. I probably paid like two bucks for them. And I think I'll flip them for 20 bucks on eBay. Super easy flip. All right guys, so that's it for today's thrift haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. Sorry for the like quick in your face, but 
wanted to get this done and I figured if I'm gonna get it done anyways I might as well show you what I got. So I hope you found this helpful. Drop a comment down below. Let me know how Goodwill bin shopping is going for you. We actually had a really bad slump for a while where we were not doing well at all at the bins and we just started going back this week and so far so good. I'm actually going back tomorrow so we'll see if I get any filming done. If you're not ready and you would like to be, don't forget to subscribe down below and hit that notification bell. If you do that, you'll be notified every time I post videos. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.